Hi, this is Greg from Greg Space Shed. I'm going to be doing a review of a TC Electronics Spectra Drive pedal. Now this is absolutely fantastic, this pedal. I use it all the time and it's especially useful if you're going straight into the front of house PA uh, and you're not using an amp. Um, and also it's really good for practicing as well because you can put a line in, headphones and just practice anywhere in a hotel room when you're away on tour or anywhere you, where you need to practice quietly. So I'm going to be talking about all the different controls. I'm going to be talking about the TC Ele Electronics Tone Print, where you can put different patches onto the pedal. Uh, and then I'm also going to demonstrate it and show you the different sounds. Okay, so we've got the pedal here, and I'm going to show you some of the controls. First of all, we've got the gain here. And this controls how much signal your bass is putting through the pedal. And then we've got these two controls here, the tube drive and the spectra compression. And these are two that we put our tone prints through, but I'll show you those later. And then we've got level. So once you've set your gain, uh, then you set your level just to give you the volume that you want. And then we've got the EQ knobs here. So we've got bass, low mid, high mid and treble. Uh, I'll leave these all flat first of all when I try them out for you. And then we've got the switch to turn the drive on or off and then we've got a bypass button as well here um, so you can use it without the sounds of the pedal and if we look at the back we've got an in for our instrument a through and an out and we've got a ground lift a pre or post so when you send it to the front desk uh, you can choose whether to use the sounds that you set up on the pedal or not and then we've got a choice of instrument and line. And then USB to connect up to the um, computer or laptop. And then that's our power. And at the side here, we've got two, we've got a headphone socket and a line in. So it's really good for practicing. So you can practice silently uh, and plug in an MP3 player, your phone, your laptop, whatever you want really. And this is the XLR out. Um, you send that to the desk for the PA. Okay, so they're the general controls. So if I set it up now, and then I'll play through and change stuff so you can hear how it affects the bass tone. Okay, so I've got the pedal set up here. I'm plugging in with my bass, and I'm going out to the laptop. So I'm not using this amp here at all. I've set all the EQ knobs in the middle. I've turned the compression off, and at the moment I've got the bypass on, so we're not getting the sounds of the amp. Uh, I've put my gain just under. This is quite hot, this bass. Uh, and my volume's there. So if I play with the bypass, and then if I turn the pedal on, uh, give it a bit more bass. And I'll turn the bass down and give some low mids. Smoothens out the sound a bit. And high mids. And then some highs. Okay, if we put the drive on now, okay, so if we try it, the tone prints, I think I've got quite a subtle drive on there at the moment. So you need to open the artist tone print um, app, which you can get on the App Store. And then when you click into there, you'll see Spectre Drive Bass Preamp. Click on that. And you've got a few, you've got two different choices. You've got the Spectre Compression, which is this one here, and you've got the Tube Drive, which is this one here. So if you open Tube Drive, and we're trying multiple tone prints. Um, if we look through, let's try, we try the Beast. That sounds full on. So we click on that and then you beam to pedal, just follow the instructions. So you point it at your instrument and you should hear this noise. It 
sounds like a dial up and then you'll see the pedal flashing. So that works and you can hear, uh, you can hear the drive. <laughs> really full on drive here. So nothing subtle about that. Uh, we'll try another patch. Let's try clean boost. So we we'll beam it to the pedal again. Okay, we'll see what we've got now. Yeah, it's a much cleaner drive, that one. Okay, so we'll try some of the multiple tone prints, um, and these are presets by different artists. So if we click on Fuzz Off, let's try that. Okay, so that seems to have gone through. Yeah, so it's quite a subtle sort of um, fuzz. You can hear it on the long notes. So if we turn off the drive, and now we try the compression. So I'll turn that right up. Uh, let's try 9901 Funk. Okay, we'll try another one. Let's try Captain East. Obviously, that's a Nathan East patch. Okay. Okay, so we've got loads and loads of options on here. Um, it's a great pedal to take out on the road. You've got all these different drive patches. You've got the different compression patches. You've got all these different EQs here. You can practice, you can send it to the desk. Um, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. And it's basically the same as one of the TC Electronics amps. They put everything into a box without the power. Uh, so again, you can actually take a line out to your amp if you want on stage sounds and you can then send it to the sound guy as well. Well, I hope you found the review useful. Um, hopefully I've demonstrated how powerful the pedal is. Um, it costs around about a couple of hundred dollars, uh, a couple of hundred pounds. Um, so that I'd say it's a really great investment. Um, I haven't regretted it. Um, I use it all the time. And also, as I said, um, it's a great pedal to use with the in-ears and then you can give a signal straight to the sound guy and you don't need to bring an amp. If you did find it useful, please like and share the video and leave any comments below. Um, let me know what you think. If you've got one of these pedals, let me know if you like it. Have a look at my other videos on my channel. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I put loads of videos up. I put a, a new video up every week. Um, I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and I've got gregspaceshed.com, which is my website. Um, you can join my mailing list. Um, there's some info on there about my Bass Beginner Guide, um, which is an ebook, which is coming out really soon. Um, that's coming out on the 30th of April, so you can express an interest in it. Um, I've got a special offer uh, for people on my mailing list and my subscribers. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. See you at the next lesson.